Whether on Earth or in the gigantic expanses of space, although the year is far from over, scientists have already made many outstanding discoveries that provide plenty of food for discussion. In fact, not every new discovery helps to significantly deepen our knowledge in an area, but rather sometimes shows how wrong we were in the past. After all, how can it be that researchers detected a structure in space at the beginning of 2024 that, according to our understanding, should not exist at all? Other scientific developments, on the other hand, are leading to profound ethical debates and raise the question of whether the first human clone may soon be bred. According to the standard cosmological model, matter in the cosmos is relatively evenly distributed. Despite this, it's undisputed that there are colossal structures such as galaxy clusters, superclusters, or the so-called Great Wall. And yet it is true that all sections of the sky are similar in terms of galaxy density, temperature, and radiation on a large scale. Well, that's true in theory anyway, but in reality, experts have repeatedly found that our models simply don't always match up with reality. The first mystery that astronomers uncovered in this regard in 2021 was the giant arc, a gigantic arc of galaxies and galaxy clusters that, at 3.3 billion light years long, is significantly larger than it should actually be. And true to the motto, an impossible giant structure rarely comes alone. A team led by Alexia Lopez of the University of Central Lancashire discovered a second double XL structure at the beginning of this year, which is difficult to explain using our current models. Just like the giant arc, its no less confusing counterpart was identified via the light spectrum of distant quasars, or in other words, active galactic nuclei. Dubbed the Big Ring, the galaxies and galaxy clusters in it left behind telltale absorption lines of magnesium ions and thus provided the research world with another mystery. All in all, the galactic giant ring has a diameter of 1.3 and a circumference of 4.4 billion light years. If it could be seen with the naked eye or with telescopes, it would take up as much space in the night sky as 15 adjacent full moons. But as the structure, which is around 9.2 billion light years away, is too faint for this, we are unfortunately denied this unique sight. But how do scientists deal with these unexpected discoveries from a purely technical point of view? In other words, how do you deal with two structures that stand in stark contradiction to our common understanding of the distribution of matter in the universe? In principle, the maximum cosmic size is estimated at 1.2 billion light years. However, this maximum size is clearly exceeded in both cases, and even more surprising is the fact that the Big Ring and the Giant Arc are located in the same area of the sky. In detail, the giant structures are not only about the same age, but also only around 12 degrees apart. This raises the question of whether the cosmic neighbors were once part of a single, even larger association. An exciting question, but one that is unlikely to find an answer anytime soon. After all, astronomers have so far only been able to speculate about the background to their formation and the exact nature of the structures. One theory suggests that the objects are associated with so-called baryonic acoustic oscillations. This refers to the remnants of density waves from the early days of the cosmos that have left ring-shaped traces in the distribution of matter. Typically, however, these have a radius of only 500 million light years and also formed a closed circle. Contrary to its name, however, this does not apply to the Big Ring. Spectral analyses have shown that its shape is more reminiscent of a corkscrew-like spiral. Another theory of explanation starts much deeper with the Big Bang itself. According to the British physicist Roger Penrose, this was not the beginning of everything, but merely the start of a new cosmic cycle. According to this, the universe has always been subject to a constant interplay of decline and rebirth. And as a sign of this cyclical cosmos, Penrose postulated, among other things, gigantic rings as relics of Hawking's radiation from previous supermassive black holes. But string theorists are also throwing their hats into the big ring. The existence of the monster structures could be due to the effects of cosmic strings, or in other words, the effects of extremely thin, thread-like topological defects in space 
that were formed shortly after the birth of the universe by the splitting of the fundamental forces. The smallest robots in the world. No, the following invention is not from a science fiction movie. Researchers at Washington State University have developed two tiny robots modeled on insects that will in the future pollinate plants, support search operations, and monitor the environment. Compared to the beetle, which weighs just 8 milligrams, the 55 milligram water strider robot is almost a heavyweight. And although the tiny machines are not only the smallest, but also the fastest mini robots in the world, they have to admit defeat to real insects when it comes to speed. While the artificial creations have a top speed of 0.02 kilometers per hour, an ant races through the landscape at a speed of 3.6 kilometers per hour. In return, however, the robots have a trick up their sleeve that most creepy crawlies can only dream of. They are made of a shape memory alloy which allows them to quote-unquote remember their original shape when they are heated. What's more, we are also dealing with real powerhouses here. In initial tests, the robots were able to lift more than 150 times their own weight. However, the scientists still have to work on the energy supply, as this has only lasted for a short time so far. Does the future belong to water batteries? They are less prone to failure safer and cheaper. The new water batteries presented by an Australian research team a few months ago could soon make our conventional lead acid or lithium ion batteries a thing of the past. What is currently still an organic electrolyte, such as lithium, is in this case simple water that has been enriched with additives such as inorganic salts. The scientists also used natural and frequently occurring materials such as zinc and magnesium for their construction meaning that the new energy storage devices are less toxic and significantly cheaper to produce. In the same breath, the experts have also succeeded in solving the problem of dendrites with their small button batteries. These are microscopically small crystal structures that grow in batteries and can trigger short circuits. In the water batteries, the experts have coated the affected components with the metal bismuth, which rusts and thus creates a protective layer that puts a stop to the formation of dendrites. But that's not all. Study leader Tianyi Ma from the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology stated that the batteries can also be safely dismantled and the materials reused or recycled. The surface life of the water batteries should be comparable to that of commercially available lithium ion batteries, and they could be used in solar cells in as little as one to three years of healthy cloning and ethical debates. What began in 1996 with Dolly the sheep has now reached Retro, the rhesus monkey. And this is actually the first cloned representative of its species to reach adulthood. Born in China on July 16, 2020, the primate was created as part of the so-called somatic cell nuclear transfer or SCNT procedure. In this process, scientists remove the nucleus of an egg cell and replace it with the nucleus of the animal they wish to replicate. This technique has not only been used to create Dolly, but also cows, mice, pigs, goats, rabbits, and even dogs. In 2018, the Chinese research team that created Retro succeeded for the first time in cloning two long-tailed macaques and keeping them alive. However, attempts with rhesus macaques had always been doomed to failure until then. The few animals that had seen the light of day usually died after just a few days. According to the scientists, the fact that Retro is still a lively exception in this list is due to a special trick. The researchers removed trophoblasts in the embryo, the cell layer that connects to the uterine lining, and later forms the fetal part of the placenta, and replaced them with trophoblasts that they had previously produced through artificial insemination. In this way, the experts cloned a total of 113 rhesus monkey embryos, 11 of which they implanted into the bodies of female rhesus monkeys. In two cases, a pregnancy occurred. In addition to retro, a pair of twins also grew, but died before birth. But what is a scientific success on the one hand is also at the heart of a fundamental ethical debate. How far can we go with cloning? 
Rhesus monkeys are particularly sought after by researchers because of their biological similarity to humans. Many drugs are tested on these animals before approval. But do the cloning experiments on monkeys mean that we may one day also be breeding humans in the laboratory? Well, not in our country anyway. In Germany, this is legally ruled out by the Embryo Protection Act. In principle, however, it is not illegal to clone monkeys in this country. But whether the benefits for human medicine would justify the unspeakable suffering of animals is another matter entirely. The oldest black hole to date existed 400 million years after the Big Bang and is a galactic wolverine that poses a huge puzzle for experts. The object, which weighs around 1 million solar masses, actually devours far more than it should. The distant galaxy GN-Z11 had already attracted the attention of astronomers led by Roberto Ma led by Roberto Maiolino from the University of Cambridge with its unusual brightness in images taken by the Hubble telescope. In order to uncover the background to the unexpected luminosity, the researchers took a close look at the structure using Webb's near-spec spectrometer and recognized from the spectral lines that it is home to an active black hole. However, as it is astonishingly massive for its early formation, the question arises as to how the Colossus could have grown in such a short time. And the answer to this question may be hidden in the radiation emitted by the early giant. Experts have determined that its luminosity corresponds to the extreme energy output of 10 to the power of 45 erg per second, which means it exceeds the so-called Eddington limit by a factor of 5. In astrophysics, this is regarded as the natural limit for the accretion of matter onto a black hole, and the time since the Big Bang was actually too short for a black hole of this size to form. In principle, however, some researchers assume that super Eddington accretion could have taken place in such early objects for at least some time. However, in such a scenario, the overactive galactic nucleus would be expected to catapult a large part of the interstellar medium out of the galaxy as a result of its intense radiation, bringing star production to a virtual standstill. And lo and behold, the researchers have actually detected the first indications of a significant drop in the star formation rate in GN-Z11. And you are now welcome to track down the subscription button and ensure a significant increase in the community formation rate. Press the thumbs up and subscribe now to never miss an exciting video from us again.